I'm here tonight just to give some very basic information on refugee resettlement, and I'm going to stick to what I know, but um, I will try to answer your questions the best I can. My question is, when are we going to stop this? The field trip garbage has got to stop. Can I address the first, the the first question? Hey guys, hey guys, Absolutely. That's my question, now I want to hear the answer. Do you have an answer? No, sir, but you have been lecturing her rather than letting her ask. It's okay. It's absolutely okay. I happen to have compassion for not just my neighbor, and I would hope others would consider that as well. And I would like to know what I do. I didn't know that there was a controversy surrounding refugees and resettlement. I don't think anyone here is the racist bigot hater that people are getting called. The only thing that I can hope is that when you meet that family, you can say, gosh, they're pretty normal folks. It wasn't based on winning a political battle. It wasn't based on anything larger than, God, can we help a couple people? I moved to Missoula, Montana about 15 years ago. And I became an arborist. When I started having my family, I decided that climbing trees with a chainsaw probably wasn't the best spot. He's searching, he's looking. Oh, he found somebody. I first saw the photo of Alan Kearney when I was breastfeeding my nine-month-old son sitting in my living room. It didn't really compute in my mind at first what you're looking at. This is a photo of a child that has lost his life, trying to flee war with his family. And I just, I was heartbroken. Nothing affected me like this photo did and the parallels that I could draw to my own life as a mom. I think that had a lot to do with this incomprehensible drive and need to do more for families that were, that were fleeing. It started us down a path of trying to figure out how we might be able to bring refugees to Missoula. We learned that we were one of two states in the nation that wasn't participating in refugee resettlement. Everyone was like, what can we do? What should we do? And I said, well, I'll make some phone calls. I'll, you know, try to get this ball rolling. We would go sit with our elected officials and our community leaders, our public school system, our employment folks. We would say, do you think that this is something that we could do in our community? The day the first family got here, it was an incredible feeling. So I will read a page and then you read it after me. Our mission is to create a supportive, welcoming and educated community that can assist refugees to integrate and thrive. Soft Landing Missoula organized really around that, saying, how can we work with the public schools? How can we work with our housing and our jobs to make sure that everybody here in Missoula has the resources they need to serve refugees the best that they can? Why don't you go ahead and read this sentence, Heba? They can't climbed. Climbed, right. Yeah, so you add ED. We have about 200 volunteers to work with families, to teach our classes, manage in-kind donations, to set up apartments for incoming families. So fun. I wasn't expecting a team, a team of four or five members to work with you in English language or to know you in the city. أنا جيت على ميزولا مع زوجتي وعندي طفلين جان وإيفان ومع أخي باسل. I'm from Syria. كنا نعمل في كنا نعيش في قرية نعيش في القرية صغيرة. كل يوم نسمع إنه انفجارات وداعش قريبة ومن هالحكي تخاف تطلع من بيتك لأنه تنقتل تخاف ناري بالعمرة شو كده خمدة فيديجي 
يعني حياة صارت بشعة مو 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 بس صعبة كلنا اضطرينا إلى أن نترك ما حدا يعني طلع من كيفه إنه هو مبسوط إنه طالع I've sat down with people that have told me to my face, I'll never agree with you, but I'll be the first to extend a hand when someone gets here. And in fact, that has come true. Hey, John. Hey, Mary. <laughs> oh, gosh, look at you. <laughs> How are you? Oh, good. Good. I well, haven't changed my mind on a lot of things. but That's OK. And those folks next door got the cutest kids. So which family are you living it's, next to? It's uh, Congolese. Mm -hmm. He's Joel or something. Okay, Joel. And yep. then you got three kids. Yep. I still have some hesitations about some of the groups coming in mass. We continue to learn so much by listening to people. There are really hard things about refugee resettlement. There are real challenges for a community. There are real challenges for the refugees themselves. It never became about convincing anyone to wholeheartedly agree that I was right and they were wrong. The point is to create a welcoming community for refugees in Missoula. Welcome to the uh, first annual World Refugee Soccer Cup. And since the first family came, Missoula has welcomed about 30 families, about 120 individuals from Congo, Iraq, Eritrea, and Syria. Get the ball, get that ball out! هم الناس كانوا متطوعين ولا ما كانوا هم الناس يعني وناس سكان ميزولا هم خلونا نحب ميزولا. حلم انه اعيش حياة هادئة وآمنة مشان اولادي ويتعلموا انه اعمل لهم مستقبل يدرسوا بجامعة او احسن من مستقبلي انا. It was never a conscious decision to say, I'm going to completely change my life. If you looked at the whole picture, it would seem impossible. But if you just looked at making one more phone call, or if you just looked at researching this a little bit longer, having this conversation, it was just those little tiny, tiny steps, one after the other, that were doable. I hope that we can inspire others to know that it can make such a huge impact in people's lives. And I, I think anyone could do it.